All right, we're back in business. Uh, let's see. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I hope everything's coming through okay out there. Why is my stream not showing anything? Well, let's get it back up. All right, back to the map making business where we left off just an hour ago. See, we still got a few of you guys out there hanging in there waiting. Thanks for being patient with me as I ate my Eggo waffles because that's all I could find that I could <laughs> eat quick enough to get back here. But hey, it works. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to start by... I want to get the rest of this farm down here in place. So somewhere on this map, there's an unused BGA that needs to be brought down. <laughs> Never back down has been waiting for me. Good deal. Because we got to get some pieces in down here before I draw some fields. And I think our BGA is going to go back a little ways, but right off of this side over here. So let's bring in some concrete for that one. Oh, big slab. I love the way uh, this smoothing does. See, I went up to the road, and I'm going to have to go back with a little dirt to get rid of the grass that was in between. Which isn't a problem. Let me see. Rough dirt. There we go. So I got to find the BGA that I did not use, which was, I think, was it Robert's Farm had one. Which actually might be easier to find underneath the map these days. We'll figure it out somewhere. There's a barn here. That's a good sign. There it is, right there. So we're going to grab... They only had one bunker at Rob, at this farm. There was another one up. I'm trying to keep them... Well, actually, the bunkers are okay. We'll have to rename some of them. We'll bring this one over. Farm Cow Silo 3. And put that one down here. And we'll rotate that around a little bit once it catches up to me. Come on. Did I hit my num lock off? I think I did. There we go. Figure out just how much room. Oh, I hate when I do that. It selected something else. Just the walls. Got to get the whole thing. that there for now. If 
I could only remember where it was. Take a look around underground. It was over this way. Okay. Because we need these markers. We'll put those over. What is the name called in Unifactory you change so we don't have to keep swapping and changing seed? Oh, I wrote it down. Uh, it was, let me see. It's in the unloading spec. I'm not exactly, yeah. My notes I can't even read because my pen was off. We'll take a look and see if we can find that. But there was a true to change to false in the unloading spec. Hang on just a second. I haven't done it myself, but we'll check it out. Where's my markers? There they are. Got to rotate them. That looks pretty good. Yeah, right there, I guess. Good. Let's see. Uh, he's asking to turn it so you don't have seed. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. We would go into, s not that scripts, maps, scripts. Unloading spec Lua is the file. And I'm going to do a search for the word true because self allow seed changing. I think that's the one right there. Yeah, just change that to false. Line 46 in the unloading spec Lua and then you will uh, be able to I think it's just that one let's see else if not self allowed seed self allowed maybe it's change this to true it's one uh, self allowed seed changing is true maybe it's one of these two that have have to be changed so experiment with that right there either on line 43 or 46 I think self-allowed seed changing would be true in on 43 but yeah I'm not gonna do it right now but it's one of those right there so hope that helps you out a little bit And then you won't have to use your cedars to, yeah, do all that crazy stuff. All right. There's somewhere out here, there's another BGA bunker and another BGA on a farm. And I think it's up here. Possibly. Underground, maybe not. Which one did we use up here? Was this Roberts? Nope, that's Alan. Okay. Roberts was there. Do 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 do. The museum that's going to be put in again and continue adding on to that.
somewhere on here there's the pig stuff we're gonna have to move that over um let's see what we have here uh let i can go highlight one of them over here and then it'll at least bring me to all the bga sections and we'll just go through and find one that's not used That's the cow figures. Cow style. That's the original one. I don't want that one. I want the additional ones. Try this one. Nope, those are the three original ones. Let me It's so hard to find things on a 16x map when half of the stuff is underground. And what do we have there? Oh, planters peanuts. I think it was the Johnson BGA, which was my farm, which was up here somewhere that isn't being used, but Oh, I see one. It's floating in the air. Yeah, this one right here. So we'll bring these two over there as well. <clears throat> there they are. Remember where I am on the map here. We are... All right, basically almost in the middle of this section over here. So I can get back there to get the other one when we're ready, and the markers. Make sure it's lined up with the other one. Give you enough space to drive between them. Oh, it's on dirt. I thought I left it on concrete. Grab that other one over here. Somewhere around here. There we go. And the markers first, so I don't wear. Yeah, we'll grab these markers. an hour already yeah that was the fastest hour <laughs> break that i've ever had running around trying to get something to eat but it's all good hey zero for paul how's it going back to work on the map little by little we're making it into something So we're going to add a couple more things to this farm down here with the BGA. Just to get an idea where the BGA is going to be and 
where other things are going to fall into place around it. We've got a barn to bring over here too, I think, still. Yep, that'll work. <laughs> Twitch is meant to show me when guys like you me stream, but it yeah, Twitch is always twitchy. All right, farm cow silo two. When I do this, I'm moving them from other farms. Later on, I got to go through the XML file and make sure that. It's got the right name appropriate for the farm because Johnson Farm is disappearing for now. Although I may name rename any of them, but for now, we don't need that farm. Although we could use some of the stuff from it. It's already in the map. Now uh, let's see, line it up. That looks pretty good. The goal is to have just four huge farms on this map. And that's what we're starting it with. Just four. Even though it's a big map, we're going to go with four farms and see how it works out for now. We may or may not add a couple more in later if it, but I'd rather do a lot more landscaping and stuff in between them. And Multiple people can run each segment. That way it'll keep the equipment down on the 16x map so you don't have to have multiple sets of equipment. That was one of the main reasons. Every little thing that we take into consideration, like the number of farms, all has to do with the uh, how well it's going to run and what we're going to do. That's why I've also decided to move most of the mining stuff into the mountain range that's going to be over here altogether. So you don't have to have loaders and everything in multiple places on the map. It'll help it run more smoothly. We need to keep in mind that resources are going to be in quite demand on this thing with 16x size. And as much as I can save to add some new stuff in later as well is a big plus. So we're going to keep it reasonable. I mean, four farms, three bunkers apiece is 12 of them right there. There's our three. Oh, we have a barn here already. We just need to make a little... path for it and Go get our BGA workings. I think we're going to put them back here. So we'll make this a little bit bigger. 
like I said, I may move some of this stuff around later on. It's straight now just kind of gauging how we like it and getting things to their new locations so we can build around them a little bit. Hey, KW, welcome back. See, I can actually drive another road down here eventually, too. <laughs> down the other side of the BGA. Possibly plant some stuff. But let's go get the workings over here. For that BGA. No, oh, it's this whole one right, a whole group right there. Come on, select, select and move. All right, I do know this. We need to rotate that thing on this huge axis. So let's see where zero is that back here. Yeah, okay, we want it the other direction. And we got to drag it all the way. over here so kind of get an idea where we're going to be. Let's bring that down to the ground. Wow, that was good. Right at zero. Maybe a little more room on this side. All right. So, with that, this farm has its garages, its barn, all its extra stuff. It's a uh, house, it's chickens, it's BGA. Uh, I think that that is good for here. So I'm going to grab myself the train detail. Whoops. And make myself a pretty large square. We're going to see, run a field down along this side. Yeah, a little too large to work with when I'm trying to sketch fields in, but it's a good start. Now, I do have extra room, like I said, around the farms. I got 
greenhouses and stuff that we'll be moving in later once I figure out how I want to do them. So, and I'm not marking the fields until I'm, but I am getting them started. No, oh, they're definitely going to be some pretty huge fields in this map, that's for sure. As a matter of fact, I'm going to run this one roughly. to the corner here then we'll run it out this way we'll put another long one in the back but this is probably going to be the starter field so I don't want to get too crazy with it. We'll bring this one in. You'd be surprised how big this is when we get in there. I colored outside the lines. Make it big for a starter field. Well, one of these is going to be a starter field. We'll figure it out. Yeah, the starter field, it's pretty big. Definitely not your average small starter field. When you consider the size of the map. Whoops, I just hit the wrong button. But this is how I leave those little grass strips when I'm trying to fill in the area. They are annoying and make your... So we got to check for those every now and then. Because you can't see them when you're zoomed out. And I leave them behind. Like, I just saw a glimpse of grass. I guess it's not there. And then we're going to run, and this is how I do this. I'm going to go extend out a little bit just so I get the corner. That way when you guys go to decide to plow fields together later on this one will line up perfectly with the other one but we're going to leave a pretty good gutter in between the two that way those two edges are perfectly aligned right there if you want to connect this someday to another one to that one there And this one's going to be pretty darn huge, too. It's going to go all the way to the back. I'm going to leave a little room down the back so you can turn around stuff. We definitely have space to work with on this map. Uh, why is my corner not cornered? There we go. So having a little extra room around these large fields for barns or whatever we want to put in is definitely not going to hurt. Let's go this direction so I can see how far down I want it to go. we got to put the dirt roads in in between all these and everything else, so...
keep on going. I have yeah, I have a concept of what a big field is. These are small fields on this map. <laughs> the big ones are coming. The ones right around the farm I keep relatively small because you're starting out with them. The big ones, um, yeah, I've seen some maps with big fields. Mine might not be too crazy, but we're going to have definitely bigger than you're used used to on the 4x maps that's for sure this is a small one this is a small big field oh I went out of the lines again because you know me I'm cruel and I don't want to start you with too much free land I make you buy the big ones for millions of dollars Nothing comes free. You must pay. We give you the $200,000 field and sell you the $3 million ones. make it all one big field uh, you guys can do that you can plow them together the bigger the better we're gonna have some massive fields on here as a matter of fact this farm is definitely gonna have because there's a lot of space around this farm but let's get the couple starter fields in then maybe if um, I'll, I'll work on one of the large ones soon We've got a couple good starter ones. All right, we can put, well, let's see. We're going to run down this side. About out there would work. You like big fields, you say, hey? Eh? Line 43 works spot on for cedars. All right. There you go. Good deal. Oh, I colored outside the lines again. Let's do what we usually do and connect the two corners. That way we know where the corner is. And then, ooh. Beautiful. I'm gonna go a little further this way. And then it's going to go out that way. Whoops. It 
So the question is, you want to go all the way to the end with this field? <laughs> is that the size big you want? Because I think that's what we might do with this one. That'd be a monster. I might do it in two. <laughs> that's awful big. <laughs> I don't know. He says, hell yeah. That would be, um, I think, two. I think we'll make it two <laughs> fields. <laughs> no, do it. Bigger the better. That is, that'd be a monster. Yeah, I don't think you... Well, it doesn't look too bad. I'm going a little further. All in one. <laughs> He's pushing for it. Uh, yeah, we could. St well, let's uh bring this side down a little bit. Hey, big man. How's it going? He wants big field. Me make big field, but me probably not, not make it as big as he wants. But me make it so he can connect them together. <laughs> I'm thinking we could at least uh, two of them out of this. I mean, really. This is like the whole corner of the map. Every time I add a little length on, he's like, yeah, further, go further. Uh, yeah, we can, it's a big, big map. The sugarcane fix release is today. It's already out there. Uh, in the download section under the update, under 1120 update, you'll find the sugarcane release. Uh, just a note of warning is that any sugarcane that is currently on your map will disappear if you don't follow the instructions of find and replace all the instance of the word sugarcane in the universe of factory saves file in your save game and make the C in sugarcane an uppercase C and that's the only way to keep all the sugarcane that you already have in your factories and silos. I did a tutorial at the beginning of the last video that I and well it was only a few hours ago on how to do that if you guys need to know. But yeah, we released that earlier today. And do you have the new sugarcane files along with in the same place you'll find Big Daddy's uh sugarcane plus pack just in case you don't have the mod pack from Giants the Platinum. You can use that. So we took care of that for you. Sorry I didn't go all the way down to the other end, but, you know, I get kind of... This is going to be big. i got to go in there and scope it out. That's a that's a pretty huge field, believe it or not. There will be another huge one running all the way down, and then another smaller one right in front here. But let's fill in the big... square yeah you can make it <laughs> you can definitely make it into one big one eventually That's the way I design these, why I make the corners. So you can reconfigure them later on the way you want them. By plowing them together. 
make them a little bit different. But I want to keep it so you don't have to wait till you have thirty million dollars till you can farm. So the bigger the field, the higher the cost. That's a pretty good chunk right there, landscape. I'm going to leave... Well, I'm going to do another one down here, but I'm going to leave this area through here open right now because we're going to have to have a greenhouse and orchard area. So we're going to just get a smaller cursor, smaller box, and... I'm just going to kind of figure out, I don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? I don't need to. I'm going to put in, I need to do it up at the other corner. Will that be enough room? I suppose it will be. This is the corner I want to align it with right here. So we'll bring this out a little bit. Oops. That looks good. <laughs> there were only three fields on the original. Well, we're doing a little different. Uh, yeah, thanks, Chill Will. I plan on going out and see my kids for Thanksgiving. So it should be... Uh, Fun time. My parents, my kids, my aunts, my uncle. Well, not my aunts, my uncle. My brothers and sisters. Most of us will be there for the holiday, so it'll be good. Food, football, family. What else do you need? And some people could do without the family. <laughs> That's just wrong. But it's true. All right. This is a pretty big field itself. These are some big in fields. I'm going to leave a little space near the road on this one. Because I've got plans to add some stuff ditches and guardrails and stuff to make it annoying no I don't know what's gonna come in 610 hectares that's huge that's where you could fall asleep and uh, come back an hour later and still be doing the same pass and you need your combines to have 600,000 capacity We probably won't have any that big, but you can make them that big. 610. No, this is pretty good size for me right here. I'm pretty happy with this.
Although the more fields I put and the less grass I have to paint, that'd be easier. Yeah, 610 is... That's some crazy stuff. I like to have multiple fields just so I can plant multiple different things at the same time. And these are good. These are good size. These are definitely not uh, Pleasant Valley 3 size fields. They're monsters in their own right. I mean, remember, this is a 16x map. And this farm section is a quarter of it. Adventure 35, thank you for the follow. So it's going to be pretty big. I'm not measuring them today. That's another day, measuring how big the hectares are. We could make one map with one big, a 16x map with one field in the middle. Would that be nice? Some of you would probably prefer that. That would be insane. And it's not going to probably end up being this flat either. Because I will get in here and do my magic at some point And make a, a little bit... Little rolls throughout the fields. Just so you can get your combine stuck in the middle. of No, hopefully that won't happen. Whoa, that's how I leave grass spots behind. I guess I could... <laughs> Whoa. Did I do? Oh, there it is. Sometimes tough to work with the bigger square. Because you can't see in the distance what's been done. Till you move. All right. I'm going to leave that spot open. Like I said, we're going to run a road down through there with some greenhouses and stuff probably eventually. But we have plenty more to go. So, yeah, compared to those two, those two there are pretty, pretty big. But we have this whole other side of the road that we're going to be working on getting fields into uh and the bigger ones will be yeah all the way once i figure out this whole mountain thing back here that's when we'll get into figuring out more what the rest of this farm is going to be we've got so much room around this farm going down this way as well so Bigger fields beyond those, for sure. How's the baking coming? <laughs> hey, thanks for the host, Doc. Uh, I'm not baking cookies yet. I'm making FS history. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm just making a map. Although I'm making a very large 16x map. And broadcasting... Lots of it. Let's get rid of some of this junk that's on the map here. And ask, answering questions, if anybody has any. I'll be glad to try to answer them. That is dirty. And it needs to go away. It's left behind. So, yeah. Basically, took the Pleasant Valley map dropped a lot of the terrain stuff in so you'll see segments of mud and stuff where they're not going to be and we're just reworking it into 16x with all new terrain this is another one of the farms and this is going to be sheep farm uh ba -ba -ba -ba. i've got to figure out where i want my sheep to go 
we've got not just sheep this is a pig pig farm pig farm stuff is over this way yeah there's a lot of 16x maps I've noticed that have popped up so this is my piggy farm stuff ah uh, let's see how do I want to do this hmm I need to bring my fence pieces over and start making the fence I'm just checking out the pieces we have here we have the barn And all this fun stuff. Let's bring the barn pig stable. Can I bring this whole pig enclosure over the way it is? And then it? let's see if it's all linked together. The least work I can have to do on a 16x map, the better. I'd rather bring it over and then alter the fence lines to fit if I can get the whole thing over there. Yeah, that's most of it. That'll work. Let's slide it on over and see where we could at least compare the size of this one to the other one uh, up here. So we know that it's yep. So in reality if I was to keep the same size pig farm area it would actually fit quite easily I'm liking that right about there maybe slide it down uh, it was on a hill as you can see because that barns already in the ground So that is close. Am I too low now? I think so. We're going to have to go and do the... Let's try minus 15.9. That's pretty good. I'm just looking at the main fence, so I don't have to do too much fence work. But we're going to extend it and do some stuff. That fits in pretty good right there. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, could you imagine? I'd love to... There's so many things, though, that ideas that I still would love to implement that this engine just can't do. Uh, where'd my pigs go? And it's going to be some time before it can. But yeah, there's tons of ideas we've had that just aren't able to be done with the current stuff. So it'll evolve. It'll get there. Uh, maybe not in my lifetime. Where was the, that's the problem when you move a big chunk of something like the pig farm, and then you got to go back and find out where it was. There it was. Look for the navigation mesh, because we need to bring in a lot of these things. I'm gonna put the pieces back in place and then rearrange. So we got the pig manure heap. That's got to go down there. Oh, the fun part is testing these, too. Up uh, this way. I'm going to kind of put it back where it was, and then 
we'll work on expanding the fence line and remaking this a little bit different. Give the pigs some more room to roam around. It is 16x map. We're allowed to give them a little bit more space, I think. I just clicked off the thing. Wow, that's a pretty big game there, Plane Master. Never saw it, though. What happened? Did it not make it, actually, to... I mean, that's an ambitious project. But it would be cool. Uh, over here. One game carried 2,000 players. Uh, animal loading pigs. I want the actual markers underneath it first. Although now I won't be able to find it when I come back. Yeah, that's really kind of some of the ideas I had uh, in mind and kind of working toward here, but a larger scale with multiple fact, multiple farms. People come in and claim a farm and then they all have to work together would be awesome, but there's no, there's no permissions based in this game, which is part of the issue. If they, you could like designate a certain area of the map and only one person could operate it based on and then have 15 20 of those on the same map that have to interact with each other but cannot be destroyed by the other players where am I going then that would be kind of cool so this one goes right over here I believe for now And back over to the navigation mesh, which we will move those. We'll do navigation mesh day. <laughs> it's going to be, a, I hate doing them, but uh, they have to be done. So I think that was right about here. Let's see if I get lucky and hit that trigger. Yeah, I missed it. That's what I'm talking about. You need to have a way to have multiple players and when they join the game they are somehow assigned a piece of land to work where other people would have to have special permissions given to that them by that player in order to do different things on the land you know just a permission system for that person's land. So you could get help working it, but you could also block people from destroying it. The same way with equipment and those types of things. Uh, money systems have to be built in separately for each of the farmers, almost like you would do if you were on a game like the Ark where everybody's building their own bases and stuff, but they're not sharing their own materials or money. There will be public areas, possibly. The, the technology's there to do it. The question is, does anybody want to take that on? We need to get my stuff. 
We're moving a pig farm. We'll move the whole transform group for the straw planes. There we go. Now we can put that. Uh, we'll have to be adjusted later. I can't remember if it goes just flush to the top of the ground or when you set it up you put it just underneath. We'll find out at a later date. But it right now is going to be brought over to here. And notice I clicked over here so it's not raised up off of the by clicking on a piece of fence or something, I'll just slide it into place so I know it's flush with the ground. Make sure it's inside my fence borders. That'll work. Basically, I don't know if it starts there. I have to look at another, or if it starts there when you design the map, I will find out later. Yeah, a better money management system and spawn points. Yeah, that's those are the types of things that a multiplayer system uh, really needs. If you buy something at the store, a piece of equipment, you need to not get, keep getting lost. There's the navigation mesh. I think that's the one, or is that the chicken one? Nope, that's the right one. You need to be able to get equipment to the appropriate farms, separate spawn. Although you could theoretically do away with here I'm gonna remember I need the marker on the ground over there but you theoretically could do away with uh, <laughs> having them sp have them all spawn in down at one place and have under the owner's name and then have to have it drive back to your farm I mean th that would work but they still need to have it so that vehicles when they're purchased are assigned to the right farms i mean i'm sure modders can work some of that stuff out the game is evolving we'll give it that much little by little i wish it would go faster i wish they had more tools i mean they're they look at it as a farming game yeah but there's so much that can be done obviously with us building the factories and stuff that there's definitely room for improvement in addition that will come in time it seems like all the extra stuff we get is the visual not necessarily functions as much although we got pigs this time I like to I wish they had a user friendly factory system built in or a build a building system or a way to uh some of the things that would also be cool is to be able to link to have its own factory system that's customizable would be nice i'd always wanted to have like one power plant that could power all the facilities uh and that type of thing but there's no way because these are all mods there's no way to transfer product without some pretty amazing script writing from one say fabric script unit to another one that would be so awesome and I could work it so you fill up one f coal plant and it provides the fuel or whatever to all the places stuff like that just can't be done yet I will eventually edit this pig farm shape. I'm just making sure I get everything over here with it. The chickens are not buyable. Yeah, that's an 
interesting thing. I mean, they need to, I guess with the chickens, there was, uh, it's not a very profitable thing. A lot of people just didn't even bother doing the chickens. I guess those corners got to be dragged out just a little bit. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, so they should have done something different, though. would have been nicer to have chickens where you breed them like we do the pigs and then sell off the chickens for chicken soup or something, you know. They didn't have to stop making, uh, picking up the eggs for a buck a piece or whatever in this game. Yeah, that kind of, but they could have made it a larger scale operation too. A large scale chicken operation. Never back down, 18. Thank you for the... Or, 81. Thank you for the host there, my friend. And, uh... We're just working away here. Dragging the old pig farm over to the new one. Uh, let's go with... This side. Trough. And then we'll mess with the shape at a later date when we have time to get everything. So, feeding trough. And do the navigation meshes. And the, Right now, I'm just moving stuff around and putting them on their appropriate farms and making sure we got all the pieces where they're going to go. Getting them out of floating in the air. That's a good plus. So, this one goes down that side. Right into here. I plan on expanding this quite a bit. We've got a lot of room over here for it. All the way. It'll fill in a lot more of this area. But for now, it's going to be like it was over there, so I know that I have all the pieces. Yeah, power, water, I mean, it'd be nice to be able to have, like, like a nuclear power plant or so. I don't know. It doesn't have to be nuclear, coal power, anything. But have it so that one, you, you know, it could supply power to each of the factories uh that type of thing that would be really awesome i just haven't figured out how to do it it would be cool possibly i mean there's so many ways to do things that have been done in the past uh what if you had a way to travel between people's maps even that would be kind of cool uh where you have it set up, you know, you've seen it in other video games where you could drive down to, say, one of the roads that goes off the edge of the map and a screen would pop up and ask you where you want to go and then you have your friend's codes already or any of your Steam friends maybe or something to that effect in that list and you could drive your trailer full of goods off of your map and into theirs and continue on and sell stuff to them. That, something like that would be even cool. You know? So you could drive your products between into other people's farms, other people's maps that they've designed. That would be pretty awesome. And back over here.
Yeah, it would need to teleport on its own to the other factories. That is the thing, is uh, being able to transfer the values from one to the other somehow. Just some coding to transfer values from one mod to another would be pretty awesome. Where was that? Backside right here. The color and water plant water towers was a pretty cool thing. It was also run on the uh, universal process kit, which we don't have. But we could probably do something similar to that with the fabric script, I'm sure, and have multiple offload points. We're going to be doing some more of that this map anyhow. So keep a lookout for that down the road. This is, like I said, pretty early stages, so all the I the idea stages, other than ideas f how to do the landscape, they'll be coming. The gold nugget right there. We got to place, yeah, we got to place 100 gold nuggets on a 16x map. That'll be a fun thing to do. I'm going to put them as far away from each other as possible and hide them in the... W nobody will ever find them. <laughs> Without a cheat. <laughs> 100 nuggets on the 60. Yeah, that'll be a blast. And then we got the coins. They're going to be out here too. Hidden throughout. We'll make it reasonably easy. Like we usually do. Uh, try to put them around your points of interest. The fairgrounds, farmers market. You know, I hadn't. I, I yeah. I don't know how to make that. I'm right now. My I can't even wrap. I want to do something cool like that. I've had some pretty cool ideas that I'd love to I just gotta you know think 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 on ways to make those things happen and we'll see what happens down the road what would be cool is which um, I don't know I've got some ideas an event system would be kinda cool um, and maybe we could do a placeable type thing too. I don't know where we can, that was my thought was have another one of my brilliant ideas that probably will never happen is to have an area that's like an event center where we could create placeable objects here. Let me get this thing out here first, where we could create placeables that you bring in that, uh, you work on like a fair county fair. And you finish it off, then you can remove it and then bring in another one. Just like a event area for different events to happen. Little projects down the road that are added in. And you work on it and bring it massive amounts and you get a reward of massive amounts of products and stuff then you get a reward when it's finished and then you can either start that one but also I'd like to make it a placeable thing so that you can uh, I forget where this was I think it was over here yeah make it a placeable thing so you can bring in different types of events like maybe a fair this time maybe something else in that event center like a circus the next time and uh, or a Halloween themed corn maze and whenever it's complete you get your reward and it resets or you can remove it can be cool still play the old PV map which old one are you talking about there's so many of them <laughs> 13 15 17 oh my gosh 
anybody go back to the 2013 stuff, the early stuff? Oh, the 15, yeah. The 15 stuff, I liked it, yeah. It's a shame that uh, that stuff couldn't have been converted. It's funny, but a lot of work in those maps over the years, and it's good to know that people... Actually, believe it or not, I have the website, is the Facebook page is still up there for the 2013 maps, uh, Pleasant Valley Fences, and it still gets new members every now and then. So even the 13 stuff is still active amongst people. Uh, things have changed since then, but... They've evolved. Yeah, some of the things, some of the evolving isn't exactly for the better, I believe. Fences was pretty awesome idea. Uh, I wish the Universal Process Kit, see, that's that would make it so much better for modders like myself, is if they had something like the way the Universal Process Kit works available built in right into the engine, so we don't have to... Uh, know how to code but we could just do the user attributes and create our I mean it was made it so much more flexible it would be kinda cool if Giants built something like that right into the engine then we would be able to bring back a lot of those cool things a grasshopper is an ATV ah uh, yeah there's a lot of room on this map. Don't be surprised if there's an off-road section with mud and stuff like that down the road. You never know. We'll see what happens. Airports, you never know. Anybody Has anybody developed a, a plane mod that works in multiplayer yet? An airplane that you can fly? That would be so awesome on the 16X map. But... I haven't seen one multiplayer capable yet. All right. We've got our silo. I think that took apart everything there. We've got a barn from this one that we probably will... Well, we might use it. We'll see. The old racetrack. See, stuff like that might come back. You never know. There's so much room here. Like I said, first the priority stuff. Then we'll worry about uh, everything else. And adding in. I mean, this place is huge. So, yeah, you might see the racetrack come back. Or ATV World in some extent. Heck, I thought about bringing volcan a volcano in and putting it in the map somewhere. Just the whole Volcano Island map. <laughs> <laughs> from 2013 and dropping it in somewhere. I'm going to need to remember where this trigger is first because it's going to be floating and I don't... Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, I'm going to put that somewhere. When I come back and get you on this edge, well, I just want to know where to find it. I guess I could have moved it first, but I don't know where that silo is going yet. There's a couple triggers there, too. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to put it somewhere else because that's not on the ground. Here, we'll put them in the corner of this slab. A crop duster. I don't know if that is... Yeah, I don't know. There should be an object and a green station trigger here. And there's the silo trigger as well. Well, we got a pig silo. I guess we can work with that group. It'll get lost, but I'll find it. It's under the farm functional section. Because we're going to grab these silos and bring them right over. Yeah, you can uh, send a link to albert at gmail.com or drop it in my 
private message me through the stream here. I'll take a look at it there, never back down, and see if it can do what it can do. I'm always interested. It'd be so cool, to, especially uh, with the uh, 16x map, to be able to fly a plane around on this world. That would be so awesome. Crop dusting? Yeah. We did it in 13 for a single player. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to decide where I want to put this. That isn't going to be too much in the way, I think. But we want it accessible. Uh, let's see. I'm going to expand the pigs out that way. So I think we'll put this back here for now anyway. We got to be able to drive underneath it. I think we can get around. I think I might move that barn back a little bit eventually. This one here, a little bit further away from the road. Thanks there for the PM. Got it. How high can you go with these? I think we're just going to bring it up a little bit. Nope, you don't need a new save game, G-Man 131, but you will lose all sugar cane unless you follow the uh, instructions that I had at the start of my last stream. And basically that's going into the Unifactory saves file and making sure every instance of the word sugarcane has a capital C in the word instead of the lowercase. Because Giants changed it and that's how they used. And if you don't do that, all sugarcane in silos and factories will disappear. So other than that, you can continue your save game. And if you don't mind losing that, you are good to go. Uh, Unifactories, yeah, see, this is why I, there's so many pieces in this map. Let's find where I had the pig stuff. Farm functional, pig silo, there we go. We need to bring the triggers. and rotate and we'll, yeah there's one that's the object trigger so that means it'll take bales now the green trigger will take the tippers Yes, you can uh, turn on and off the grain if they have the grain effect node on the trigger. That is correct. Some of them I have turned off on purpose. It's not like you want to see Kellogg's potato chips coming out of a silo. <laughs> Although it would be kind of cool. Not Kellogg's potato, Kellogg's cornflakes. Yeah. Kellogg's doesn't make potato chips yet.
silo trigger. Yep. This one doesn't, it has the effect node right here and doesn't have a checkbox to turn it on or off, but it does definitely have the effect. So we'll slide that into place as we usually do, which is, I showed you guys this earlier, I kind of 3D is a little bit all right there you go a little bit funky so i use the pipe itself and make sure i have the pipe centered in my box for starters and then i lower it down to the ground just when it touches the ground right there and usually the node is closer to the pipe so it usually has to be right about there right at where the node is at the pipes and that should be close we'll check them out later that is back up and running uh, so we've got a lot of room to expand our pig farm out this way at some point let's see if we got everything from that I think we do oh yeah we've got an extra garage We've got room, so let's bring this garage over there. Doesn't hurt to have a farm garage at the pig, over by the pig side to park a couple extra pieces of equipment in there, even though it's close to the regular farm. All right, but we have plenty of room, and I think I'm going to put it right here for now. Spin it around. Uh, not that direction. There we go. Yeah, that'll work, and let's get the doors. Yeah, a little slow with all the stuff on the map when you're selecting items like that, but you get used to it after a while. All right, that is going to be the last part of the pig farm that was over here. So that has been relocated for expansion later onto its new farm ownership place. Right. Uh, wrong one. Is it? No. Why does it look so different? Where did I go? Oh, we're over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over here. Doors. Swing them around. 180 degrees. So 90 and... 
you could do 270 but I always just drop the minus in the front of it to make it minus 90 and it works the same way and it's quicker I only have to do one keystroke instead of three get my hinges roughly aligned there they're rough now they look good all right that is over here like I said I'm gonna expand that but I'm not worried about that right now we'll do that when I'm when I feel like doing it <laughs> that's how I work we do it when I feel like doing it so that's a pretty big farm area right there we've got these little areas across the street we've got yeah we've got to do some fields around this which are going to be running out this way so we can drop and eh, we can start a couple fields in here let me bring them up we'll give it a couple fields start whoa not with that big of a square to start this thing Well, not that small either. Yeah, we'll, uh, we're doing terrain detail, add brush. That's a good distance from the road and the other. We got a little bit of a ridge in there if you saw that we'll have to do a little smoothing through here just looking around see where we're going how far I want to bring this field to this direction definitely go a little further I like the square fields I know some people like more shape to their fields but uh, they can shape them themselves I like to uh, be able to not mess with the combine on weird areas I need to plant more grass under that side so I'd rather build in some terrain details in the bigger spaces than have odd shaped fields myself I've always done it that way I know uh, as far as looks wise it would be kinda more aesthetic not having all square fields but I tend to like to sacrifice <laughs> uh, for playability just keeping them square uh, right we're gonna need some more grass planted I want more grass please just to make our field, first field on this farm we're gonna have a few of them but Yeah, let's go this way a little further. Maybe I'll even bump up my circle square. Get a lot of grass out of here. It's all farmland. I see something else I want to do too, and I'll show you that in a minute. I've been doing it as I go around the map. 
when it where I can. Now if you look you, you could see whoops when I have 100% grass and nothing else in the, those squares so I didn't miss anything. It says 100% grass. Okay. What I was looking at is this road edge right here. In several places of the map, I don't like to have it that high off the ground. And I've been working it, the terrain around it, by going... Let's bring the square down here and grab a... Whoops, what did I just do? I just deleted something. Uh, let's undo that. <laughs> I didn't hit the R key, I hit the D key. <laughs> Don't do that. Redo. Okay, let's try that again. Um... I need to, yeah, I hate the way this works. Click once. Why is it not giving, it's replace, is that the height one? Well, it could be. Uh, let's see what happens if I go 1.5. That's right, part of this is, oh, I'm on the wrong freaking brush. Yeah, that's more like, it. okay, let's try the right brush, dude. 100. And one, I want to see how, all right, too high. A little bit lower than that. A little lower. Not yet. Is it going to be 100.1? That's a little bit better. I just... I'm going to bring it to a 0.15. There. I like to take away some of that. Bring the terrain up so we don't have that edge because we do go on and off the roads a lot as we're traveling on this map. So I'm getting rid of some of that edge of the road, leaving just a little bit so there's not a huge bump when you're crossing over them by bringing the terrain up and that means that all this terrain out here has to be right along the road it's flat road and also we have a lot of grass around us so the big dirt edge kinda looks a little bit weird in the grass areas So a little bit less of a edge. Also, we got to remember to up. Oh, need a smaller square to get through there. We need to remember to take that darn dividers out of those roads that have been driving me crazy. Now, hopefully, you can still get out. Yeah, you can get on that bridge. We're only raising the terrain around it. It's the little things that can end up being annoying. And that edge of those roads, I've noticed, for me anyway, it's been annoying having them be so raised up. There we go. Close enough to that for now. Much better, just a little lip. And when we're driving now, is this the road that had the visible barrier in between? Let's find out. I think I've removed some of them. And I think, well, what do you know? It's an invisible barrier in between. That's getting out of there. So we can cross that road without having to go all the way to the other end.
there might be some more. I'm going to just check up here. Nope, not there. If I click through it, how about up here? No, I clicked on the barn over there. I don't think there's a barrier here. Nope. Um, there was definitely one on a highway down here that we've kept trying to get across. Oh, wait. No, it was by that. I think that was the one. Yeah, that was the one that I kept having, because I remember coming down and using a railroad bridge somewhere. Maybe it was there. Crossing over on a railroad bridge to get to the other side. Well, oh, there might be one down here. Nope, that's a single lane road. And double lane highway. See if there's invisible dividers. There's one. Runs all the way. That's getting out of there. If I want dividers, I'll put a guardrail in and then leave spots. U turns only? No. All right, so that was that, and there might be one on this section. We'll check it out. Nope, looks good. I think I removed that one, one of the first ones I removed. All right, let's see. Where are we at? We've got our field being drawn in we've got more grass to work with so let's go back and at least finish up this field trying to gauge on how far down I want to go with it. There's a lot of room here, but we got to keep a couple of them relatively small around the farm to start with, so we'll cut this one off right about here for now. Then we'll get the big fields a little bit further away. Sorry if I'm disappointing you on the small size, but it comes with the territory. Because we need to have a feel for you to start on. Did I just go out of the lines? Yes, you did. Whoops. Here, let's undo that one. Easy. There we go. So you got to get pretty close in to see if uh, you've gone beyond the area. I'm sorry if I'm talking less, yeah, getting quiet. Um, I'm running out of energy. I've been map making quite a bit today. But every day, it looks a little bit different, and it looks more like a map. Until several months from now, <laughs> it's done. But it's looking good. Who knows? We're flying right along here with this stuff. 
I took some shortcuts, so I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to be before we get something ready to release, but we'll just keep plugging away. That's a pretty good starter field right there. That gives me enough room to run a... I might have went a little bit further than I wanted to on that, but yeah, we'll work it out. We're going to run another one over here, down this side, and bring it about that far away from the road. Am I still broadcasting? It's showing me another commercial. But it says I'm live. Is that something new? They show commercials every so often? Or did I have a hiccup? <laughs> or have I been broadcasting too long today? Maybe they're trying to tell me something. All right, we're good then. My computer just whacking out on me, which isn't abnormal. So, yeah, you can plow these fields together later. They're going to be pretty big. There's a big ridge in this one we got to take care of. Can you see that? How that? Yeah, you're going up a hill. Well, we're going to take care of that. See, I didn't leave much of a gutter there so I'm gonna cut this one back a little bit for now I'm gonna head it this way there's definitely some terrain issues through here for this one we can get closer up this way too. Let me uh I don't think it will take a year since you had things working to start with, but other sixteen <laughs> Yeah. I have I it's not gonna take a year, actually. Um I have a lot of pieces in place, but I'm there's a lot that I wanna redesign after we get it working with what we current I mean I have factories obviously already built and stuff and if I just went with what we have then we could definitely have something released much sooner just repositioning the factories and we may I may do that because but leave them large enough lots for the rebuilding of them one at a time and just incrementally update it. The biggest thing is to make sure, like I've been doing, that we get it to a point where whatever we release, you're not going to have to start over ever. So getting the content in. But when it comes to redesigning factories, their layouts and making them larger to drive through. We just got to make sure there's enough space around them to do it. Then we can... I don't know why I'm being so cautious there. I got to be cautious when I get close to the mountains. But, yeah. Technically, I could get this up and running a lot sooner. But there is still a lot of work before you get there with that point. Because look around you. <laughs> look around me. Look at the green areas compared to the brown areas. Yeah, there's a little bit more here and there. I mean, we ain't even close to done with starting the green areas because I haven't planted a blade of grass yet. So, but there's definitely a lot more landscaping to do in here. And this whole area has some pretty amazing ups and downs that are going to get smoothed out a little bit right now. Just so we don't have too big a ridges in the middle of this field. 
we'll scope it out in a little bit. What are we almost on our two hours already of the second broadcast? Holy moly. So I'm going to draw in the rest of this field for tonight. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to do the same thing. Might, depending on how early I can get started or what things. But we're going to do a couple, at least a couple two-hour broadcasts again tomorrow. And if you're lucky enough, I might be able to get one relatively early on Wednesday before I head out of here for the holiday weekend. So, but yeah, and then when I get back, we'll do the same thing. We'll get some uh, two-hour broadcast, multiple ones whenever I'm working on the map to get you guys a lot more uh, video footage of the whole process as we build it out here. And you can watch the whole thing come alive. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll bring it out of it this way a little bit. I got to get into this map and see just how big the rolls in this field are if I'm going to have to smooth it more or if it's going to be uh, too difficult or not to I got to get more grass out here too to do I want to go definitely want to go further this way it's a pretty small field compared to the other farm we want to get it down this way a little bit Yeah. Oh, right. The forest is right there. That's going to be cool. So we'll bring it right down to the forest area, roughly. We've got to work the forest area out. So this will be the... Yeah, watch. We'll bring this field down pretty close. Uh, the forest will be built all back here. So plan on this field going right up to the forest area. Forest area number one, anyway. Let's bring this side up. So I know when to cut it off. Yeah, we can go a little further. Did I just mess that up? Yeah, just a little. Went out of line. Oh. Went out of the lines again. That works. So we'll finish this field up and then we'll jump in and take a look over here at this farm again as I like to do. And uh, we'll call it a day after that. Kind of get an idea of what we've got done and how it's looking. And if I need to make any changes or there's any big bad landscape problems in the middle of the field. Here, we can get the big square now. 
Thank you. See that big dip right there as I was moving that cursor right there? I think I want to smooth that out a little bit. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a pretty big transition in the middle of the field. I want to, I don't mind a little bit of rolling in the field, but I don't want you to be getting your harvester stuck like we did in one of the maps. I did. <laughs> I'm getting stuck in the middle of this field. The wheels come off the ground at this place. I'm sure I've done it in several maps, actually. So that is the part, fun part of the testing. All right. That's a pretty good size. Runs over there. Then we'll square out another one go in that direction at some point. But we'll take a look at what we've got so far here. I gotta save it, close it, load it up again, save it again to get all the distance textures back in place. You know the drill. Any thoughts on making all the farms the same silo like in PV15 since 16x larger distance to move the goods around? Jake1999. Uh, not exactly. Um, because the way I'm designing this map is for multiple people to have to work together. As a matter of fact, the silos aren't are probably not even going to hold everything. Uh, for instance, one farm might be doing more of one. You could do it, but you're going to have to bring in. Yeah, I want to be able to have the four. But we might make a, a second version it, of it as well. We used to do that in PV in 2013 do this version it doesn't take a long time to make a more single player friendly all silos hook together version after we release this one so it's a possibility but not the original intent for this map the intent is to basically have like four people playing having to interact with each other or four groups of people on each of the different four farms. And operating your own... I wish we had a way to control the economy better, but you're going to have to do trading between. You know, if you want to run your potato chip factory, you might need to trade with player A to get some potatoes because... And he'll need something from your farm. That's more the intent on this to have to work together to get the different things running can I make the PGA hold like 250,000 silage I could uh, doesn't it hold more than that already doesn't each bunker hold like 2 million do we oh yeah we're saved let me close this down A panel that shows a. Uh, we have the menu that shows the current amount that we will show you in a minute when we go in the game. Uh, we don't use the in game system. We're using the Kavkaz system. I gotta load up the map one more time and resave it just to get those distance textures drawn in correctly. Then we're jumping in and we'll show you. What? Yeah. Two million. Oh, the hopper. Uh, I don't know if we can alter how much the hopper holds. I'll have to check that out. I know we used to be able to. The input is 50,000. Yeah, I know. Some people like to drop the whole two million rate at the, the start. I know you can uh, alter how quick it goes up and down the price from dumping and the price recovery. Yeah, you use the slash key to open the menu and it shows you all our our things. But we're going to jump in and take a look at this in a minute. I want to scope out the farm areas that I've worked on a little bit.
Yeah, I just delete. I deleted them earlier, Donna. If I, uh, my first broadcast at near the end of it, I took care of the parked cars. I left one in this map because they were just annoying me, as I've got them in fields right now. But they're very easy. They're under the the traffic splines. You'll see parked cars. You can just delete all the cars out of the parked cars folder, uh, and then they'll all disappear. I kind of like them, but I don't like them in the middle of my fields. So, if you, I'll show you real quick because I did leave one. Uh, gold crest. I have splines. You have your traffic splines, and then there's a folder that's parked cars. Just delete any parked car node that's in that parked cars folder right there. And like that one, but I left one so I could duplicate it later, and then all your parked cars will be gone. It's pretty easy to do. I don't know, I mean the parked cars... You could also, s yeah, if you want to know, delete a single specific parked car, knowing which one it is, you're gonna have to tab through until you find where that little crosshair is, and uh... <laughs> where you, the one you want to delete. We're saving this up. Then we'll jump in and take another look real quick before we call it. Dave, did you fix the tree license resetting at midnight for single player? I didn't know it did reset at midnight. I've never had that happen. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure. Is the tree license is resetting at midnight? Oh, you can add a, bu a string bunker capacity. Ah. Gotcha. All right, let's go in and see what we've got done here. I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to write that down on the... B you bumped yours up to 500,000? I don't know if we'll go that... I mean, it definitely, the 16X, we'll definitely make it bigger. But I don't know if we'll go 500,000. We also need to extend the range that the price drops, or it'll be one load you'll be dumping and everything will disappear. Yeah, I play single player and it's never... Never, unless you're fast forwarding time and using up the time. I mean, it it resets in a full day, KW, but I've never had it reset just at midnight. You got, uh, what is it, 12 hours to use it or something like that? Maybe 24? I can't remember what the time is, but... Uh, yeah, we'll just take the truck. I could get that crazy fast thing, but I get in more accidents with that. I don't know why I'm getting purple, but we're getting a purple one. All right, south first. You don't fast forward time. It will expire, but... I've never had it just, yeah, it resets 24 hours after you buy the license. And that's the way, so you buy the license and you work your trees within that 24-hour period, but it shouldn't reset at midnight. I've never heard of that one before. It resets 24 hours after you buy it. So anyway, the person that was asking about the information in the silos is Slash key brings up this menu. All your warehouses show everything right there that's in the map. Those are just your starting crops. 
but all the silos throughout the map have your totals in that little menu. That is weird, KW. You buy it before 5 p.m. and at midnight you have no license. You're the first person I've heard of having that issue. Not that it doesn't happen, but I've never had it happen. I wonder if there's something conflicting with it. Uh, it's uh, Does it tell you on your thing when you buy it how many hours you have it should be it should say 24 hours when you first purchase it is it saying 24 hours just trying to figure out where that issue would be but this is the first i've heard of it Where there's Mount, I gotta name it, Mount something or other. <laughs> There'll be another one on this map. I mean, there's plenty of room for stuff like that. We're just driving. We're gonna check out the field sizes. I'm doing good, Amaki. Welcome to the stream. You're getting here at the end, tail end of it today. Uh, the second one. This is the second stream I did tonight. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do another couple. Two hours here, two hours there, whenever, whenever I can get in here. But we're just working away on the 16X. And basically most of today I've been working around the farm areas. Just expanding them out and trying to get an idea of where the farms are going to be. And we have some fields that we put in down here. So that's a pretty good size. Yeah, it's not huge, humongous, that field. But it's big for starter fields. Definitely, oh, I got a grass spot in the middle. See, I always leave those. They are annoying when you're farming. They're definitely not uh, Pleasant Valley size fields. They're bigger. And this one is pretty big in itself. But this one here is the one that he said, keep going. I kept going. That's a huge field. I don't care what you say. That'll take you a little while to do. All right. Yeah, let me know. I've never had it reset on my own, so I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if anybody else. Yeah, I'll be around, Maki. I'm probably going to do similar early afternoon and an evening show. Started at 8 o'clock, so that's a pretty good field size. And then we got this other one down here that we're working on. Nice, not bad. Nice field sizes for you to work on this farm. If you need bigger than that, you're going to be taking... And there will be more for this farm as well. Uh, there's a big area left over here because we're going to bring in some other stuff on the farm. But this one looks pretty good. We've got... I wanted to check out the size of that PGA area. The grass and trees and stuff, when we start decorating the farms, they'll start looking better, bringing in some landscape changes. Plenty of room to go down through here. Plenty of room at this BGA. We might even drop some fences around some of the areas just to make it annoy you a little bit. I know how much you like fences. Uh, and then we have our barns. That looks good. Let's go up to the other one now, if I can find my way around the map. And check it out. But yeah, 
still so much property. We can have a huge field across the street there. Big field. But we got to make sure we have factories in and stuff in certain areas in each of the each of the segments. But they're pretty big. I mean, there's still a lot of room. Definitely a lot of room. Probably too much room. <laughs> All right, I'm going this way because I know I have to cross the water out here somewhere. I'll try this, take this road north. So we got our train rails up here. So for this segment of the map, there will be some factories and stuff along the train rails up here and the train station for that section. And, yeah, there's so much room. I need to head north. I know that. I just don't know where I'm going to be able to cross over the water. We may add some more crossing points as I bring more roads in as well. There will be dirt roads and gravel roads and stuff coming. I see where I want to go, but I can't get there. No, I don't know if I can actually even see it. We'll just follow the ridge. As we go along, though, we got fewer and fewer objects floating in around in the sky. But it'd be cool to have a feed lot. You've been trying it on a blank mat, yeah. It's what you have there in Australia for feeding livestock, huh? Well, we're going to have lots of things coming. Uh, there's the bridge i got to cross, one of them. I guess we will cross there and try to head north from there. Uh, we may need to add some more bridges. Although, I'm not opposed to having to drive around the map. And when it's marked better on the P PDA, <laughs> uh, it'll be easier. Especially when you're... Oh, please don't roll over. Thank you, because I don't want to drive all the way back here. So we're going to cross into another county. Yeah, we're going to have different... Pleasant Valley counties. Or something. I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll figure it out. Pleasant Valley canyons. Oh, because there's lots of canyons. If I throw something out that you like, <laughs> let me know, <laughs> name-wise, because I really have no idea yet what it's going to be. PV counties, yeah. It's definitely going to be big enough to have four separate counties. We can name them each something different. We kind of did that in uh, Pleasant Valley V2 on 2015. We named each of the farms different areas. That was kind of cool. I'd like to bring some of that stuff back sometimes, too. Uh, just to nostalgia. Bring back the names that we had in, in that map. Relive. All right. So I could have actually just bought another vehicle because we're at the store. <laughs> <laughs> we took 15 minutes to get back to where uh, we could have started. But I see a bridge down there. Is that a way across? I need to get to the other side of my map here, please. On, uh, Let's go north. Let's see what happens.
Yeah, it remains to be seen if I add a couple. I might add a couple small farm, additional small farms. That might maybe, for, but we'll see. Well, I've, you never know. You never know with me. I could take out three of them tomorrow. I'm not gonna. There's a field on the side of that mountain. That'll be coming out. I'll probably run into a Home Depot on the middle of the road. I'm thinking I'm already over the water. I should just try to go up over this mountain. But I'm trying to learn how to get around this place. There's a Home Depot in there, sticking out of the side of a hill. All the cell points, too, have to be strategically placed and recalculated. Yeah, there's a lot of cleanup to do on this rough edge. Oh, there's a bridge that goes to where I want to go, but uh, I'm underneath it. How did that work out? Yeah, PV15V2 had six farms, and they all had different little names for their areas. That was a pretty good one. I like that map. Actually, with the fairgrounds, that was the introduction of the fairgrounds. That was pretty awesome stuff, I'll have to admit. We'll look into... I love doing the stuff like that. That was... Okay. I'm all the way north and I'm ra out of road. Oh, we have a place to turn. Yay. Yeah. Well, I'll have to look into some big event type things like that. For the future, let's head this direction. Uh, there's a break in the hills up ahead here. We're definitely going to get more roads in here, that's for sure. And this is where we're going, because I could see the forestry, the dark area, and a little bit of green tinge in the distance there to where this farm... Oh, mud. Where this farm is. So this is where I was working. And you notice how the edge on the road, I didn't get it all the way back close there, but it's so much easier to transition now that I raised it into the farms. So we got a little road up into here. And it's not exactly 100% flat on the farm, but it's smooth enough. And we've got our BGA that we put in right there. And it's a two-bunker BGA. We might squeeze a third one in over here. I'd like to see three on each farm. There is actually a crossing point that I put in to get to the pig side. And we'll have to put watch for oncoming traffic signs or something there. The pig farm will expand out a little bit. Not that little pen over here. But we're going to expand it a little bit more. It's pretty good, though. Make it a little bit bigger. It's kind of cool. Because the farm is like situated next to this crazy road, which needs the edges fixed a little bit. But you can go under the bridge and come back in the other side. And the field. Let's see our fields here. Uh, well, a couple of them were kind of rolly in a couple spots. Let's see how well we smoothed it out. It's mostly toward this end. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, you could see it a little bit of a roll, but I don't think it's going to be any problem at all harvesting that field. And that's a pretty big field. Goes all the way down to here. 50 miles an hour. Take you a day to cross it. Yeah, that's a good size. And our other field is the one that's really was hilly. Yeah, they, I could see a ridge right through here. I still got a level, possibly. See that? Eh, it's not too bad. But this one has some rolls. I just want to make sure we can uh, run the combine through this without it being an issue. I like the fact that it's not perfectly flat. That's for sure. And I don't think it's going to be too much... It might be a little bit steep here in that one area, but that's still pretty good. I don't think it's too bad. We've had worse. We'll have to plan it someday and test it, and if we need to smooth it out, we'll do that. 
but that's a pretty good size and then we'll have forest all back behind there as well so we've got a couple a couple more large fields there lots more to build but what do we got we got about two and a half hour, almost two and a half hours this evening and uh, I'm gonna call it an evening for today thank you everybody for who donated the last couple broadcasts uh, that's a huge help we're getting a little bit closer to my goal for my mission trip which is awesome and am I floating over here? I think I'm floating. See, those are the things, yeah, that barn needs to be lowered down just a little bit, which I will take care of. Floating in the air. On the, or actually, the land is not flat because we're. So we need to fix the terrain height on that barn because it's floating on one end. I see, because it go up a little bit of a hill over here. Yeah, so I've got to call it an evening for today, and we'll continue on with what we're doing, getting our farms built up and things in place tomorrow. Uh, probably do the same thing, like an early afternoon broadcast and an evening one, or maybe two or three, but we'll be around. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Before I forget, I'm going to go in and... Actually, I'll do one more thing. I'm going to level off the terrain underneath that. Uh, yeah, that reserve house there before I forget it. And then we'll call it a night. Because I always keep the map open in the background. And we're already here. So, or am I at? Yeah, whoa. Oh, that's the disap... I got to run the 16x script again because everything disappears. There we go. So we have a floating on that end. We'll grab the terrain height from this end with a much smaller brush. Uh, replace value. There we go. I think I hit the wrong part. Let's get it right here. That's better. We will have to do some landscaping to get rid of the rolls around. Whoa, why did it go so high? Let's try to back up a little. We want the land. Let me bring it back down to where it was. All right. We're not touching the ground there. I grabbed the point here. And it's probably just a little bit high there. So let me lower it down. Da -da 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 -da. One hundred point nine. That's better. So we're going to bring that down all the way underneath this barn in a large enough area. And this is how you guys get those little ridges in the landscape that annoy you on the farms because this is how I do it. And I don't take, sometimes I miss areas where I built the ridge in like right there. So we're going to have to make sure we hit all that area and it will barely be noticeable hopefully
And I think we're good. But we'll check that out again tomorrow. Uh, nope, we got some. Yep, right over here. You can see it. Just bring it back so it transitions a lot smoother. It's very little difference in height between the areas. Whoops, did you see what I did there? Hit the wrong button. Yeah, I think that'll do it for today. We'll work on that road area details, details, details someday. But it's getting there. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, thank you Fireman5781 for the follow. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, keep it posted. I'm not exactly sure what time. I have things that sometimes pop up that I have to do. So I did a 5 o'clock show today. I tried to get on at 2 o'clock, but it didn't work. So we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit more map making tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll catch you all later.